Open Face Chinese Poker, or OFC for short, is not your traditional poker game. There are no betting rounds, so no need to worry about a poker face, and your opponent can even see your cards. Receiving just a few cards at a time, the aim is to place 13 cards in order to make two separate five-card poker hands, as well as a third which comprises just three cards. We call these the front, middle, and back hands. Your back hand must be stronger than your middle hand, which must be stronger than your front hand. If that's not the case, you'll score zero for the round. The strength of each hand is measured using the standard hierarchy of poker hands, from a high card all the way up to a royal flush, although for the front hand it's only possible to make three of a kind at best. Points are scored for every hand you make which beats your opponent's equivalent hand, back versus back, middle versus middle, and front versus front. You'll also score a bonus if you win all three hands, known as a scoop, as well as extra points, known as royalties, for making strong poker hands. For details, check out the OFC scoring guide at cardschat.com. Let's take a closer look at how a hand is played. We're going to focus on the most popular version of open face Chinese poker, OFC Pineapple, which can be played with a maximum of three players. In this example, there are two players, and the player to the dealer's left always starts. The hand begins with each player receiving five cards and arranging them face up to start creating their three poker hands. Players then take turns to draw three cards at a time, choosing two to place face up and one to discard face down until all three poker hands are complete. When placing cards, it's important to try and ensure you don't foul your hand. This happens when your back hand isn't stronger than your middle hand or your middle isn't stronger than your front. If that happens, you'll score zero for the hand, plus give your opponent the chance to rack up some points. With all the cards played, player A has won the front hand, as their pair of nines beats queen high. Player B wins the middle and the back, with two pair beating one pair and a full house beating two pair. Assuming you haven't fouled your hand, one point is scored for each hand you make which beats your opponent's equivalent hand, plus an extra three points if you scoop all three hands. Extra points, royalties, are awarded depending on the strength of the hand and where you've played it. For example, a pair of aces is worth nothing at the back, or in the middle, but is worth nine points at the front. A full house, meanwhile, would be worth six points in the back hand, but 12 points in the middle. Visit cardschat.com for the full breakdown of OFC royalties. In our example, player A collects one point for winning the front hand, plus four points in royalties for making a pair of nines at the front, for a total of five points. Player B takes two points for winning the middle and the back hands, plus a further six points in royalties for making a full house. Player B has a total of eight points for the hand, compared with player A's five. So, player B wins three points, the difference between their scores. Points are paid at the end of each hand, before the cards are shuffled and a new hand begins. Finally, a couple of things to note. If you can make a pair of queens or better in the front hand without fouling, you'll go to what's called fantasy land. This means on the next deal, you'll receive 14 cards at once and be able to place your three poker hands face down, discarding one card, before your opponent can even take their first turn. The other thing to remember is that as OFC poker is a points game, if you're playing for money, you'll need to agree ahead of time how much each point is worth. These can be paid using chips, or you can simply keep a running score until the game ends. Want to learn more about OFC or any other poker games? Head on over to cardschat.com.